Good morning, folks. A quick update on the eruption threat brewing in Iceland. Um, according to telemetry, it may start soon. Here we can see harmonic trevor, tremor has been detected in the Kreischevik volcano. And if an eruption does happen, as is now expected, it's the first eruption at this volcano since 1340. And everything is pointing towards an eruption. We've had massive seismic swarms about a thousand earthquakes daily that dipped off and then a, a rapid rise in activity in the last six hours, which is leading in one area, the harmonic tre tremor right below Kreischevik. So that is leading many people to finally alert warnings here. And the Iceland Met Office has an alert from the civil protection due to earthquake swarms. They are advising people to avoid steep terrain and rocks and boulders that can fall in areas where there's landslides. Stay away from these volcanoes on the peninsula. And a tremor pulse was detected south of Keller, but no eruptions have been con uh, confirmed so far. Now, I'll leave you links to Kreischevik volcano here where you can check out the eruptive history. It's not that violent. It's more of a lava flow event. It can erupt to VEI2 historically. And that's what the officials are saying. So I'll leave you links to all of this. There's even a live stream set up of the area where the eruption is potentially going to begin and lots of people commenting over there. So give them a thumbs up, subscribe, because they're providing us with this an amazing window into what's going on. Now, according to the Reykjavik grapevine, this was just published moments ago, and I will read to them their synopsis. Despite the possibility of volcanic eruptions as part of the current seismic activity in Iceland, there is little threat to air traffic from airborne ash. Now, this is just a supposition based on historical uh, eruptive activity from this volcano, which is very limited activity. It hasn't erupted for 800 years. Now, any lava emerging from the earth, because there has been a rift that has opened in the last 24 hours, and they think it's simply going to pour out of a rift, rather than shoot out as part of a major explosive event, this will result in fewer particles being projected into the atmosphere. And this fact reduces the chances of a repeat of the 2010 global air traffic chaos, where Eyjafjallajökull created huge ash clouds. This is all just supposition, because if the fissure opens and it starts erupting, it could set off a cascade of eruptions along that fissure. So you should be heed the warnings on what they're saying here. It's they're just trying to keep the calm. And it says here, however, Keflavik, the main international airport in Iceland, which is barely 20 miles from this area, is on the peninsula, just 20 kilometers from the main area of seismic activity. And there is a chance the airport access could be cut off indefinitely if lava emerges from the ground and flows over the road to the airport. Iceland's air traffic authorities have therefore created contingency plans for both road closure scenario and airborne ash. You can read the reports here. In addition, Keflavik, Iceland has three other airports of reasonable size at Reykjavik. So there are backup airports. People aren't going to be stuck on the island and need a boat to get off. So this is an ongoing event. We do have a live stream here for you if you want to keep that running in the background. And once again, Harmonic tremor was detected at the Kreischevik volcano just hours ago, uh, which is suggesting, well, that an eruption is imminent on this peninsula right in this region. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on it, watching the live stream for your benefit. Hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you. And that, that's a boom to knowledge. Be safe.